September 8, 2018, 7 a.m. All is quiet outside a bank in Orlando, Florida. But then, the surveillance cameras capture a man creeping around the ATM machine. What is this guy doing? Who is he? It's quickly obvious he's up to no good. All of a sudden, you see this guy come out of nowhere. He lunges into the vehicle and tries to rob the driver. A routine trip to the ATM drive through becomes a nightmare for the elderly couple inside the car as the man aggressively reaches through the window for the woman's purse. To escape, the female driver takes off. But incredibly, the suspect clings to the moving car with half his body still halfway inside the window. This is so scary. They must be thinking, why is this guy not leaving us alone? The driver doesn't get far. Suddenly, the car comes to an abrupt stop. What could be going on inside this car right now? What could he be doing to this driver? The robber is still wrestling with the driver. There's probably a really intense struggle. Somebody's not able to drive that car away. Then, just as the situation becomes increasingly dire, something unexpected happens. All of a sudden, we see two men running towards the vehicle. As soon as these guys realize something bad is happening, they spring into action. These two Good Samaritans rush into the situation, not really thinking about how they could get hurt. They were so focused on helping someone else. The man dressed in black yanks the robber out of the window, and he's caught off guard. The thief looks like he's going to flee the scene. This is extremely dangerous for someone to actually confront a crime while in progress, because now all of a sudden, the tables can be turned onto that person. But then, with no warning, the suspect spins around and charges towards the two Good Samaritans. It's now an all-out brawl, and they have no choice but to defend themselves. One of them actually goes into a boxing stance. He's ready to take this guy on. The robber takes a giant swing at one of the men, but he gives him a swift shove, which sends the thief running behind a building. We see them leave camera view for a second. We see one of the Good Samaritans actually kicking at the attacker. It looks like they have the upper hand at this point. The situation seems under control at last, but that all changes in an instant. The suspect does an about face and runs full speed towards the man in black. This Good Samaritan did not see this coming. He must be terrified. His name is Leon Wright, a 53-year-old businessman. And just as the angry robber tries to tackle him, Leon quickly ducks out of the way, and the suspect once again runs off. OK, he's gone now, so this, OK, this is about to end. But to Leon's shock, the robber doesn't make a break for it after all. Instead, he turns around and once again charges right for him but he's not backing down. And then things go out of control. That's when Leon sees something in the robber's hand that terrifies him. When he turned around, he was in the light because he, he was underneath the awning of the bank. And that's when I saw the black box cutter in his hand. The man has a knife. This is when I realized this situation was a whole lot more serious than what I thought it was. It all begins when Leon hears someone honking a horn just as he's about to enter a store. So I was going to ignore it and, and keep on going, but then the, the horn was going nonstop. So I'm like, something might be, something's wrong. The bank back there was closed. The Walmart over here was open. Somehow, while getting attacked, this woman had the clarity to put her car in drive and start honking her horn. At first, as he races towards the car, Leon doesn't see the robber. The reason I couldn't see the guy as I was approaching the car is because he was waist deep in the driver's window. But then, the man in the passenger seat catches his attention. And that's when he let the window down. He said, help us. That's the moment Leon says it all clicked. I kind of computed it real fast. They're leaving the bank. This guy is in the car. 
So I knew this guy was trying to like rob the people. At that point, I didn't even think. I just reacted. Leon starts doing everything he can to get the violent robber away from the terrified elderly driver. He was struggling with her trying to take whatever she had in her hand. He was not trying to come out of that car because he hadn't got what he came to get yet. I was banging in his back. So when I started pulling him, he came out the window. That's when Leon says the robber gets angry. So when he came out, I guess, you know, the natural instinct. So now he wanted to defend himself. So now he came out swinging. Even with the other Good Samaritan helping, it feels like an uneven matchup to Leon. I'm only 5'5". Five, five. This guy was, he had to be at least 5'11", 6 foot tall. But when his opponent trips behind the building, Leon thinks the fight's almost over. I was trying to kick him. I was trying to punch him while he was down. And then he got back up. So, you know, I, I got rid of my boxer stand, but he, he started to run away. So I'm thinking, OK, this is done with. But to Leon's surprise, the robber doesn't take the easy out and gets even more vicious. He could have just ran through the hedges and he would have disappeared into the dark. But I guess he said, before I leave, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this guy or something before I leave. With the box cutter in his hand, the robber makes one last move, charging right for Leon. I wanna get away from this blade. And that's when I tried to back cut out of there. Leon avoids the blade just in the nick of time, but stumbles backwards, crashing into the pavement. I lost my footing and I fell and I rolled over my wrist. Yeah, it was real bad. As Leon picks himself up from the ground, the robber finally takes off for good. The couple in the car are shaken but unharmed. The other Good Samaritan, who turns out to be visiting from another state, is uninjured and calls 911. But Leon is in bad shape. He's rushed to the hospital for a broken wrist, fractured elbow, and dislocated shoulder. I woke up, I had a cage. So I had screws and we had like a scalpel. That's when I was like, wow, you know, I was really in danger. Leon's wife, Tati, is shocked when she sees her husband's injuries. When I saw the video, I realized just how blessed we were that it ended just with a broken arm. The suspect who put Leon in the hospital managed to evade police. And to this day, he remains unidentified and at large. The suspect has now been on the run for six weeks, but investigators tell me they believe he's still in the area. Several weeks later, the elderly male victim calls Leon to thank him and reveals some shocking information. That purse the robber tried so desperately to steal it wasn't a purse at all. And he was telling me that that package he was trying to get was an urn. It was her sister's ashes. They came from a funeral for her sister. That's why she didn't let it go, because the bag was her, was her sister's remains. Word spreads about the brave actions of Leon and the other Good Samaritan, and they're recognized for their heroism. When I was chosen as the Orange County Citizen of the Year, I got this. I receive a Carnegie Hero Medal as well. Luckily, these guys came around when they did, because if not, who knows what could have happened. Still, law enforcement advise that for anyone who encounters a crime in progress, it's best to call 911. 